Brothers who played football at the same high school killed in a crash in Huntington Beach. Today, community mourns and tries to make sense out of this tragedy. More than 24 hours after the deadly collision, we still don't know what caused it. Well, today, we are hearing from those who knew and loved Josh and Jeremy Page. Here's KCALMINE's Rachel Kim. I'm sorry, I get choked up. Diane Johnson got emotional talking about the loss of two brothers at Edison High School in Huntington Beach. She retired from the school after working security and attending all the football games. That's where 18 year old Josh Page and his 17 year old brother Jeremy Page stood out on the field and off. They're just really good kids, really good kids, and I just wanted to share that. And Josh was an Eagle Scout. And Jeremy was on his way to be an Eagle Scout. He was working his way there. Investigators say Josh and Jeremy were killed as they were on their way to school Monday morning. Their pickup collided with a truck owned by the city of Huntington Beach. The other driver was not injured. It's not something you would ever expect. Like you always think it won't happen to you. Students at Edison High are still trying to understand their loss. After they gathered for a candlelight memorial at the school last night for Josh and later found out his younger brother Jeremy also died from his injuries. I knew Josh pretty well. I played a whole football season with him. He was like one of the people everyone looked up to, like being like one of the big juniors and seniors. He was a real hard worker. I think Josh was always just a nice person. The guy didn't have a mean bone in his body, and neither did Jeremy, and I think it's sad. Diane Johnson says she cannot imagine what Josh and Jeremy's parents are going through. They're a wonderful family. The parents are always participating in all the activities the boys do. You're in our prayers. Since a Huntington Beach City employee was involved in the crash, the Irvine Police Department has taken over the investigation into what caused it. They have not determined a cause yet, but they do not believe alcohol or drugs were involved. Reporting in Huntington Beach, Rachel Kim, KCAL 9 News.